Hello, my name is Brian McLean. I'm an instructor of JavaScript and Python programming at Noble Desktop in New York City. Today, we're going to look at a classic coding algorithm called the Fisher-Yates Shuffle, which is used for randomizing the items of an array. You can read all about it at Wikipedia, but instead, we're going to just dive right in, look at a practical implementation of it. So let's say you have a memory game such as this, which I made in JS, and you have to memorize the position of all these icons and make pairs out of them. So I think I saw the apples and the baseballs, and I don't remember any of the other stuff, but you could track it down and try to remember where things are as they come up and disappear, right? But if we reload it all again, the things have moved. Now the apples are over here and the baseballs are down here. Where are they? Okay, great. And I don't remember anything else, right? And if we load it again, everything's somewhere else. Let's check out the code. So we have an array of the 30 items alphabetized. Use the name in the array to load the image. But of course, it wouldn't be much of a memory game if all the items were in alphabetical order, right? Coming into the grid. So the first order of business is we have to shuffle or randomize all these items. So to do that, we use the Fisher Yates shuffle. We need, an, we need a loop now. So we're gonna say for let i equals zero, i is less than game icons dot length, i plus plus, classic for loop. Every time through, we're gonna save the current item to a temporary variable. And then we're going to overwrite the current item with a random item and then assign the temp item back to the random position, basically swapping them. So we'll generate a random int in the range of the array index, which is 0 to 29. So we'll say let r equal math.floor, math.random times game icons.length. This gives us an integer in the 0 to 29 range. And then we're going to say the current item, which is game icons i, equals the randomly chosen item, which is game icons r. So if you generated a 24, the, sea, the seahorse would be put over in place of the anchor, and then the anchor would come into the place of the seahorse. But now we have two seahorses, right? So that's why we save the original item, the anchor, to temp. So we'll say game icons r, say r is 24, that's our seahorse. That's going to equal temp, which is our anchor first time through. Let's just associate our comments with the code correctly and replace the random item with the current item as temp. To see if it worked, we'll go console log the array game icons and come over to our page, check the console. There it is, totally randomized. Barn slam dunk basketball, so it worked. Well, thank you very much for watching. That concludes this presentation on the Fisher Yates algorithm. My name is Brian McLean. I am with Noble Desktop in New York where we teach JavaScript development and Python data science, among other subjects. Thanks for watching.